Oh hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the stream, don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. You can also subscribe to the channel for more streams and other videos. And we are just about to start Season 2, Episode 1. We finished Season 1 and 400 Days. Now we're going to Season 2. And sounds pretty loud. Let's see what we can do about that. Malik, glad I had to get some clothes. I set a timer and woke up 10 minutes before you got off the other game. I'm going back to sleep. All right, man. Uh, have a good sleep, and um, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see. I'll definitely be streaming tomorrow, but we got to see if uh, Umbrella Doc wants to play something or if it's just going to be me playing this. I actually almost. I almost did um, Dead Island, but it would have taken me a little bit to get the stream set up for a new game, so I just decided to go with this one. So, we got high or low on, on, 3840. All right. Almost 3 a.m.? Oh, it's, uh, it's almost 1 a.m. here. 11.46, what? Oh, man. Wait. Oh, yeah, 11.46, yeah, yeah. Well, you can always watch this one um, on the channel later. Actually, if you want to watch it tomorrow, you get caught up for the next stream. And here we go. Start episode one. Go. All that remains. Import Season 1 save. Season 2 of The Walking Dead builds off Season 1's choices and consequences. The game will now automatically search your system for a Season 1 save file with completed episodes. That's cool. What did you think? I altered space and time. I was thinking I read 1146 and I read 1246 on my time and for some reason I thought that was two hours behind and I knew that you were only one hour behind and I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Uh, I'll watch it later on today when I have free time. Cool, sounds good. Then you'll be caught up. I don't know if I'm going to actually have enough time to finish this episode tonight. Um, actually, I could look real quick and see see if it's on here. It'll only take me like one minute here. If I can click on the right freaking tab, where'd it go? Oh, no. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. The Walking Dead Season 2, uh, Episode 1. Hour and a half. I, I might finish it. I might have just barely enough time. Hey, Gene's back. Welcome back, man. We are just getting started right now. I was just looking up. Uh, it says that this should be uh, about an hour and a half, and I have about an hour and 15 minutes. So if we're coming up to the end, I'll just finish it. Season 1 save file was found. We will now need to choose a save slot for Season 1 to continue your story. Choices will be randomly generated for any unfinished episodes. Well, we finished them all. Welcome back. Thanks for coming back, man. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, I can play without a save. So this has all the choices that we made. Even in 400 days. Previously on The Walking Dead. Which is pretty cool. Well, what's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. That was really loud. It's how the world works now! We... Cannibals. Are bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Teaching her how to shoot. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but She's... you have to promise to stay quiet. She saved my life twice. Clementine! 
with a Clementine! gun. Clementine! Mac and Roni? Mac and Roni, uh... Oh. Alright, he got bit. I know how to be a dad, you know. That's the guy we stole the food out of the she wouldn't be exposed to what the station she wagon from. <laughs> Die! Oh, Clementine saved me again. Lee, I saw my parents. I know. She you glad have it. to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. Vadomid and Krista. Sure glad I taught her how to use a gun. Oh my god, she's gonna be scarred for life. Killing her best friend, basically. And now she's alone. We saw her last, like, running through a field, and there were two figures out in the distance, so we couldn't see who they were. I think we were meant to think that they were, um, Omid and Krista. But we don't know, it ended right there. And then... Last night we played 400 days and got all those people story started, which I'm guessing we're about to meet up with them. All that remains. What do you think? Yeah, she found him. Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Oh, she's pregnant. Because. I forgot she's pregnant. Oh, this is the diner Come on, Krista. that What's we saw wrong with Omid? on 400 Days. We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Turkey bacon... Omid oh, second. Uh, no. Omid Jr. No. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? Turkey bacon, fake and bacon. You're not taking this seriously. <laughs> I take everything seriously, especially the Lomid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Krista, we can. you could call her Christine or something. Christy, why don't you uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. Oh, she went I into the men's room. It. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. So thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, we're going to need people for polls when the choices come up. Mac Hello? Macon Roni and Cheese and Bacon Mental Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Name her Christ. Oh, man. You guys ready to find a zombie in the stall? Is there anything else around here before I do that? Make sure the bathroom is safe. Use left stick. Okay. I know how to play games. All right, well, let's check this one. Who breaks the toilet? Come oh, on. Gross. Look, she's got a real-time reflection in the mirror, too. Very rare in games. Very rare in, What's like, that? in big, big titles. But it seems like indie games and smaller companies do have real-time reflections in mirrors. Stay away from the holes in the stall. Here's the last one. Ooh. What's that in the corner? What? There was something in Good. there. Good. No one's here. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. Dude, if I was in this, and I came across, like, a usable toilet, <laughs> I'd be like, alright, I'm using this while I can. The bathroom at the school be <sighs> like... Oops. All right, what do we got? She put her gun down. We're gonna take sponge bath. Man, imagine trying to like clean yourself, like Better. getting in all the places. Oh no! 
Wait, there was nothing in there. We checked. Let's check them all again. Wait, can I... Can I pick up my gun? My school bathroom sucked? Yeah, they usually do. Please have water. I wanted to pick up the gun before I checked these, but... It won't let me. I thought this was something. Is there anything else? Why do people write on the walls and stalls? And like destroy things? Ew. No. What happened to Omid? Say I wanted to grab the gun. Oh no, don't take my gun. They're gonna catch her. Yep. I see you. Don't shoot Get me. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Who are you? None of your business. Are you gonna hurt me? Only if you're stupid. Get out here. Oh, relax, lady. She's a kid. Honestly. Unarmed kid. She's nine. Unarmed nine-year-old girl. Stop it. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. Please stop. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Uh -oh. Shit, shit, and more shit. Uh oh. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. Come up behind her and you take the gun up. Fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Uh. Uh. Oh no. See, we told you to please stop. And you didn't please stop. Now, now you killed that unborn baby's to. father. I didn't mean to. She's gonna kill you now. I didn't mean that. See? Told you. Didn't have to be this way. Missing locks, guys laying down TP onto the toilet seats to pee all over it. What? Homie, can you hear me? Homie. Guys laying down TP on the seat to pee all over it. The Walking Dead. 
Guys crapping in the sink. Guys wiping their butts and sticking to the walls, ceilings. Guys doing drugs. Guys smoking and sometimes a fight. Why do people do that? Like, 16 months later. I don't understand why people do stuff like that. There's a rule, more like a pattern, in all high school bathrooms, there was always a toilet full with toilet paper to make it unusable. Krista, that happened in my elementary school. Uh-oh, she's not pregnant anymore. And I don't see a baby. I don't see a baby. This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see something. There's, um... Wait, what's this? Okay, not that. Uh, okay. I want to see... This. Wait, where was it? Wait, what? There was one that was, like, black... Oh, it must be in here. Graphics black. What's the difference? Ah. Plot twist, they ate the baby. Hey, Spider-Man Gamer, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. It's good to see ya. Let's see what the difference in uh, black graphics and not black graphics are. Oh, it's cool. More smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? I like this better. Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... What did it say? Six months later? Or 16 months later. So that was a year... Build a big fire. Let's keep moving. We can't build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet, then ice, then snow. It won't be easy. It'll be better there, right? Safer, maybe. So they say. But I don't know. It has to be. I know it will. We'll see. We just need to keep moving north. Out of all the things to scavenge, food, blankets, water, she wanted the hat. And she died over it. I wish Omid was here. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. So there should definitely be a baby by now. <laughs> Uh-oh, the fire's going out. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to get like leaves and pine needles and small sticks, but it's all wet. Krista will remember that. Yeah, I don't wonder. I wonder why, because is she going to be mad that I brought up his name? I almost chose Lee. There's Lee. <laughs> Kenny's family. They're all dead. Lee's dead. Butterfly Zippo. Let the fire go out.
love Clem's outfit and hat. Yeah, my friend Kyle one time on a trip back from my neurology appointment near San Francisco saw 666 written on the gas station toilet. He walked in and told the cashier he saw it and told her it made him feel sinister like with a creepy grin. She was freaked out. On the way out, he said, don't forget to call the exorcist in a really cheerful way. <laughs> Clem says, hi. The game, Lee will remember that, right? <laughs> Just gonna burn the picture? Oh, I need to hold it and then pull it over. I don't know if that's going to do it. Better, nice. But still not enough. The flames are too low. This will never cook. The flames aren't high enough. Oh, I can burn both of those? Oh no. Hold on. Just a story that was funny in the moment, cause you asked why people write things in the bathroom, maybe it's part of a sinister plot. <laughs> Uh, people just destroy stuff and like you're saying in the bathrooms like there's no this reason burn. to just destroy things well if I can't find anything I guess I'll have to burn either the drawing of Kenny's family or the picture of Lee oh there's a log this might burn Yeah, but it's really big. It's the dude you... Wait. Uh, burn log. It's like, dude, you use this room too. Yeah. Why are you destroying it for yourself? People do that all over the place, and I... Uh-oh. When you brought out the whole exorcist thing, I immediately thought about Christabella from the Silent Hill film saying the demon. Dude, I I don't fucking lie to us. Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt. You fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Run! Hey! Are they beating her? Get the fuck over here! Now! Motherfucker! Come out here, girl! I'm not fucking around! Shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it! <laughs> oh! 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 Whoa. oh! Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? Uh oh! Leave me alone! Stop fucking running! It's squirming! Oh! Fuck! Oh! Let go, you little bitch! Jesus Christ! Ah! Uh, uh. Come out of there! Ah! Uh.
Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, girl. You were on my last fucking nerve. Stop fucking kicking. Oh. Come on. Oh. Uh. Holy crap. We're going in the water. That was pretty intense. Told him he should go back in and sing the Ghostbusters theme song. I was 14, so I was immature. If you can't control a child, you don't need a child. <laughs> yeah, so the Silent Hill film, I think I've seen it before, and it was on Netflix or something, and I started watching it, but my, my six-year-old kind of came in, and he saw the first monster. Um, so I had to shut it off. And then when I went back to watch it again, it was gone. They didn't have it on there anymore. What were you trying to say after... Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Hello? So I wonder if we wouldn't have fought that guy. What would have happened? If we would have been captured, or if he wasn't, they weren't really trying to hurt us, but they were like waving guns at Krista. And now we're all alone. So she's not nine anymore, so she's like... Ten and a half, maybe eleven? The first Silent Hill film was okay. The second one? There's a second one? Oh man, I'm gonna have to look into that. Because I don't remember the first one, and I'm pretty sure I haven't seen that. I didn't even know there was a second one. Second one's bad. Uh, why can't they make movies that don't suck on of video games? <clears throat> Even the newest Resident Evil movie is probably the Krista, best best one as as pertains to the games, but they still kind of was like, really? You guys could have done better. Like, it wasn't bad, but they definitely could have done better. They're too loud of movies to have the word silent. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I can go that way. I can get a stick, maybe. Grave. All right, I'm thinking that's all there is here. The second one is just objectively bad. They changed so many things from the source material and the writing was awful. Alright, that's what pisses me off about video game movies so much. Assassin's Creed. Um, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Silent Hill. I can't... Resident Evil. Okay? The whole story, all the dialogue, all of the environments the plot everything is there for you just make it word for word and we'll be happy <laughs> you know 
If they would have made that newest Resident Evil movie, like, just the mansion, like the first game, and, you know, to the point, everything, I would have been perfectly happy. But no, they had to take Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, try to smash them together into one movie, and you, there's just not enough time in one movie to cover two games. And they also changed stuff. I don't know. It's the closest one, but I just don't get it. Assassin's Creed, they changed that completely. The only thing that was the same is that there's like assassins. <laughs> just follow the game word for word and it'll be good. Anyway, that's my that's my rant on video game movies. You don't have to make up a whole new story or anything. So is the second Silent Hill bad because they changed it and it doesn't follow the game? Or is it a bad movie overall? Like pretend that it's not made after a game and it's just a movie is it an okay movie <laughs> that kind of makes me want to play Resident Evil Village when we're walking through the snow at the beginning and the birds come out Looks like an animal. Yeah, a dog. Hey. It's okay, boy. It's okay. Pet the dog. Where are your owners? Check dog's collar. Don't bite me. Okay. You don't like that. Got it. Sorry. What's he doing? Don't die, doggy. Hey, what'd you find, boy? Where are you going? Wait up! I would love to see a Resident Evil 7 and 8 movie. But don't mess them up. Just follow the game. The whole thing's just made for it. Already made for you. Just make it into a movie. <laughs> That'd be awesome, a Resident Evil 7 movie. Hello? And three, four, five, six. All of them. Looks pretty run over. But you never know. Let's look around for some food. Where are you going? Anything yet? Gotta check everywhere. <sighs> well, here we go. Hey. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. Look, a can. Mm. Now I just need hmm, something to open it with. Well, let's keep looking for some more stuff. I saw a cooler over here. I can't go over there. Let's look in here. Looks like it's been here for a while. A lot of times with Scenes like this. Oh, the dog was with the Looks family like here. Looks like they were a happy family once. I want to check everything one at a time, but it only allows you to do so many before it triggers the next scene. 
It's the amount of unnecessary changes that bother me. Like, Cheryl's name is not even hmm, Cheryl, it's Sharon. Terrible. Yeah, like, why? Why change stuff? Just make it the same. No food here, either. It's like calling Jill Julia, yeah. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? <laughs> I can't tell. Julia Valentini. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. It's like the Walmart version. It's almost the same, but not really. Better keep uh, looking, boy. Is that a tent? It's not much of a tent anymore. Oh. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Yeah, why would they tear it apart? You don't have to tear everything apart. Frisbee. That's funny. I've been listening to this Call of Cthulhu. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? Uh, <coughs> tabletop RPG. But I've been listening to it as a story. And one of the okay, guys. Bring it back. One of the characters is an inventor in the 1920s and he made a frisbee. Good and it boy. keeps. Good it boy. keeps showing up in the woods and messing with him. Want to go again? I bet you miss this. I sure do. So was that Frisbee trying to show me something else over here? Hey boy, what's the matter? Shh, we have to be quiet. You can't keep the dog around, it's too loud. Oh, take that knife. It's okay, he's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. Grab that knife and just it's okay. take him out. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Hey, Dude, it's stop. okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. I think he had himself tied up, or did someone force him to do this? Fast! That looks like it hurt. I bet we could open the can with that, though. Bam! Stand get him! back, okay? Bonk. <coughs> Bonk him again. Bonk him again. <laughs> Hit him harder. There you go. I see your brain. See, we just have to stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing.
Poor guy. Ew. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. I want to okay. check this cooler. Well, now we're getting somewhere. <sighs> Let me check the cooler. No, stop. Cooler. Uh. So that's what I mean. A lot of times it'll just continue and you won't get to check everything. Please don't be bad. Wait, no. Stop. Check the cooler. Cooler, cooler. Don't do it. Stand up. Walk over to the cooler. Check the cooler. <sighs> Don't stab your hand. I guess you are pretty hungry too. Me eating in front of my cat. <laughs> Just give him some. Don't give him the Here whole thing. Go. Whoa. Hey, you don't eat it all. What the hell? Not cool, dog. Not cool, dog. There's another one. Oh, no. Well, I guess you shouldn't have been such a jerk. Dog. Just trying to be nice to the dog. And look what happens. Check the cooler now. <laughs> the dog was way too loud anyway. At least it wasn't a zombie. Is it going to come back? Because we didn't... Kill its brain. Zabby dogs. He still didn't check the cooler. <sighs> Gotta watch out for rabies, yeah. So we didn't get any food, and we got wounded. Got a knife though, I guess. Jeez. Not a great place to pass out. Oh, jeez. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh. I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Why, are they well, searching for you? I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. <laughs> and we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what... What does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. It was impaled. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Of course I am. Hmm. Well, all right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't going to like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Drop me on the ground. Can barely walk. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm Carlos Oliveria? Tired. Well, you better be fine. Because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about. Ah, oh, shit. Walking Dead or Resident Evil? Oh, that Carlos.
<laughs> Can everyone quit pointing guns at me? Come on, people. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not worried. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? You're a doctor, right? Aren't you supposed to help people that are hurt? I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. Yeah, sad eyes, I saw that. Stop the bleeding and then I'll go. I don't know if that would have worked or not. See me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. I understand you're scared. And I feel terrible delaying treatment. But we've got to be sure. <sighs> Why don't you just treat it anyway? So... What do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. Just treat the wound first and then lock what her What about up. my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. Shut up, lady. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. That guy just shot a gun. All the zombies are on the way there right now, and you're gonna lock her in here. She's gonna be trapped.
Also, I'm hungry and thirsty. Thanks, guy. Why are we doing this? It's so fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. Okay. There's a hammer up there, I saw. Really? What is that? I don't know what that is. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. What? Is, what is it? It looked like a roll, empty roll of wire. Hold on, I don't want to do that yet. I want to look at the rest of this stuff. Maybe it was welding wire? You're not going to make stitches with welding wire. Oh, perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> so dumb that her wound wasn't even treated. Like, even if it wasn't a walker, she could still get an infection, right? And get a fever. So, of course, Clem's going to get sick. You don't want to waste supplies. I mean, I can see you don't want to waste supplies, but... Alright, now I got a hammo. Anything else before I escape? Hammo. I guess we're getting out. We have a doctor. He's got to have stuff for stitches. Pretty safe in there. It'll be a good place to stitch up my arm. A needle, peroxide, and bandages. All right, let's look in the window. getting worse. That's what I want. Use the hammer. 
Did she not bring the hammer? Yeah. Do it. The struggles of being four foot nine represented in a window cutscene. I'm six foot and I am like just barely tall enough, you know, for some things. And I'm house meeting in five minutes. That's strong enough to do, you know. Won't take long. There's a few things we need to do. Mostly anything I want. Fine. But like my girlfriend, like she can't open jars and stuff, and I gotta do it. And she can't reach stuff, <laughs> you know. I can't even imagine being shorter and weaker. I wouldn't have been able to do a lot of stuff. Oh no! My knife is broke. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. Uh, she's like 5'6". But just, you know, like those things on the top shelf or something that you can't quite reach. But, but I can get them. I think she's 5'6". Yeah. I will burn your house down. There's no way. She could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah. Alright. I don't really care. Let's go find what we need. Bedroom. We're probably gonna find a little girl. Accidentally drops a candle and sets the whole house on fire. Yeah, that's what I think. Like, I will burn your house down if you don't give me the stuff I need. Would that say names, girls, and boys? There's a duck. Duck. Oh. Alright, keep moving. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. What? Is there nowhere else to go? This way? No? This way? Could waste some time looking at stuff and get what we need. Can't go this way. Uh, I guess we gotta go in here. Imagine if she comes across the Bruce Lee poster and she mentions Lee. Oh. <laughs> Leave her out there to die. Better her than us. You'd have done the same, Nick. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, and fire on your right for what? I don't see anywhere else I can go. Other than back out. Go to bed, everybody. About to get eaten alive. And you're telling us it was a dog? Yeah. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but Look, for whatever reason... What am I supposed to do? I can go back this way. 
But that's not gonna help. Oh! Oh! This is what I was looking for. Do it. Shh. <laughs> You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. Find a streamer who sounds like I need to sew some Sir of it David up. Attenborough. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll that help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. That name sounds familiar, but I don't know who it is. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. Yes. We hey, Wi-Fi, what's going on? Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. Me too. <laughs> Friends. The girl reminds me of Stephanie from the main show. A pinky swears forever. Mm, I don't remember who that is. I'll see if I can find the it's stuff been my dad uses when I get a cut. Too many years since I've seen that. it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by, Wi-Fi. Appreciate you being here. Someone will find you. Don't worry, I won't. There's a narrator for Animal Planet. Oh, I just met you. We're not friends. Yeah, I thought about it, but we needed to convince her to help us. Ooh, maybe. So what else do we need? I'll still need some bandages though. Bandages. Ugh. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. There's not even any towels. That man sometimes. <laughs> Hide in the shower. Hide in here. Damn it. Just need to have this baby. <laughs> oh, 
let it be okay and let it be his. Let it be his. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. All right, let's go. Need bandages. Let it be whose? Her husband, I guess. Or whoever. I hope it's my husband's baby and not the other guy. <laughs> Watch. That would be cool, but I think that if I get caught and they find not it on exactly me. Exactly bandages. But they should help stop the bleeding. Then they're going to be pissed. Get back to the shed. Carlos Lee, Duck, Ahmed Krista. Oh no, this is other people. So there is like, what, three guys or so here? Three or four? So one of them I think is her husband or the guy she's with. And then she was probably doing it with another one of the guys there. Doesn't know who the father is. That's what I'm thinking. But if we get caught, we can say, hey, your wife is cheating on you. She is pregnant. She doesn't know who the father is, if it's her husband's or someone else's. Alright, well we didn't get caught. I should have taken that watch. <laughs> oh, it's like fishing line? Oh. Well, this should be fun. You ever put stitches in yourself with no anesthetic? This is gonna suck. All right, this first. This is gonna hurt. I just spilled it all. Told you it was gonna hurt. Now the fun part. It's gonna hurt more. <laughs> tie it around the needle and then tie a knot on the other side. Yeah, she wasted no. the whole thing. Just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. Tie a knot on the back side first so you don't pull it all the way through. Everything's getting blurry. Mm. 
Quiet, there's zombies outside. <laughs> Trying to do crochet. Well, that'd be fun. Looks like you could have used another one. Oh, wait, was I supposed to do something else? Hit him with the hammer. Hit him with the hammer. Hit him with the hammer. Hit him with the brick. Push him back into that metal thing. There you go. Now hammer him. Ooh, even with the... With that backside. Shed should have been safe. Can I please come inside now? Please. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Yes. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Rebecca from Resident Evil Zero? I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, You'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, 
what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, I had to get her to help me. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... So I think that guy's the pregnant lady's husband. I got kind of aggro, and that was Maybe? definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. But it while. might be that guy. Hold it against him. <laughs> Baby. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. I bet this place gets so, attacked by zombies. What happened to your parents? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. Parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but. It didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. 
I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Well, get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. Who'd you cheat on your husband with? <laughs> I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? <laughs> Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. <laughs> That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. I had to do it. Blackmailing would work on her. <laughs> Toby, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. I don't know how much of this is left. How you holding up? I think I we're heard coming you got up. An earful from Rebecca last night. Coming up towards the end. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. What's her problem? Well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By yep. that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Let's just get to the river. Ugh. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Yeah, he seems kind of stupid. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. I wanted to hear the rest of the story, but I ran out of time and I didn't get to read them all. I hate the time limit. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Did 
Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Huh. What's his name? Uh. Wait, so Elvin's wife cheated on him with... Uh, full of holes. <sighs> Who do you think did this? Oh, I don't Not know sure what his yet, name is. But it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's I thought, Carver? I thought he was... The guy with the hat was the husband, but I don't know. Check those guys there. I don't know what his name be is. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. The other guy that was carrying her earlier is... Luke? What I'm, can I do? See if you can find anything else. I'm bad like with what? names. Like what might tell us who did this. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. This coat that this guy's wearing? This is the guy from the diner in 400 days that wanted us to kill the lady uh, for stealing stuff. And we didn't kill her, we just left. Can I help? I got it. Looks like you're doing a good job. What's this doing here? Is he shot too? Yeah. These fellas got lit up something good. Be back in like 20 minutes. Gotta do something quick. If the stream is stopped before I back, then thanks for the stream. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, I don't know how much of this is left. I think it's just about over. And uh, I'm over my time for the night anyway. So as soon as this is over, I'm, uh, I'm going to be done for the night. But I will be back tomorrow night. Either with Umbrella Dock or with some more of this. So uh, have a good night if I don't talk to you again. Are you sure you're okay? Ask my uncle. He knows everything. Alright, so the older guy is his uncle. I don't see anything else I can look at. What's this doing here? What are we supposed to do? I found some blood. Take a look around. Just be careful. Alright, I looked around twice already. I don't see anything else that I can do anything with. Oh, there's something. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! One of these folks might still be alive, and they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. It's what I'd do. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Sounds 
Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Okay. Help the poor thing, it's making a choking noise. That guy doesn't look like he's shot in the head. Backpack. <coughs> That's my backpack. <coughs> Where's Krista? You were in the woods with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. He's got COVID. <laughs> tell me first. <coughs> I figured if I didn't give it to him, he wouldn't tell me. <coughs> now maybe he will. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Ah! Feet! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it! God damn it! Workers! I'm out of ammo. Ways. Bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, goddammit! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got am- Come on! Come on! Jesus! Fuck! Hammer. Run this way, guy. We have to go. Some of these people are kind of stupid. They just kind of stand around until they're surrounded. That's it. What are you going to do? Oh, he's bitten, and I gotta saw his Someone leg off. Outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know mm. damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. The father What's of the baby. Do? I can't keep going. I figure okay. we got about four. Five more days to reach those mountains. So that's Luke. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Kenny. Kenny? Don't tell me. Did you try to save Krista? 58. 
helped Krista. Did you kill the dog? 52 killed the dog. Did you accept Nick's apology? 51. Did you give water to the dying man? 43. I gave him water hoping that he would tell me something. Did you save Nick or Pete? 59. Went with Pete. It's pretty split straight down the middle. I wish I could skip these. You hold your because they're copyrighted too. All right. Well, that was episode one of season two. That's pretty good. Some intense moments there. Uh, sneaking through the house, stealing stuff too. That's gonna be it for tonight. So tomorrow, there is a possibility that Saturday, well, I guess today, Saturday or Sunday, uh, Laura and I may go live uh, with subsistence at some point if we get time. If we don't, I guess Sunday is Mother's Day, so probably not Sunday, maybe tomorrow. Um, but uh, if not, I will be back in the evening. If Umbrella Doc wants to play co-op co -op something, uh, I'll play with him. If not, then we'll continue this and play the next uh, episode or two. All right. Um, I've been wanting to play Dead Island also, and I almost did it tonight, but it would have taken me too long to get the stream set up for the new game. But uh, one of these days we'll do that. Anyway. Uh, real quick, there's uh, two fundraisers in the description. They both go to the same people. Uh, our friends and fellow YouTubers, Umbrella Doc and his room. Oh, excuse me. And his roommates um, lost their house and uh, all their stuff, all their possessions to a fire a few weeks ago. So anything you can throw in to help them would be appreciated. If you can't, please at least share the link on your social media with your friends and family help get the word spread get those guys a couple bucks to get back on their feet also I have a private satisfactory server that we were just playing on um, Thursday Wednesday Thursday and uh, we had a new member if you want to join and play along with us you can there's a link to my patreon in the description there's also the YouTube join button either one's five dollars a month You'll get unlimited access to the private server and to our private Discord chat that we use when we're playing on the server. Uh, the only reason that I ask for money for that is I spent uh, $160 for the year to get the server, so I just ask people for 5 bucks to come play on it. Um, if you don't want to do that, please at least join the channel Discord. There's a link for that in the description as well. And come hang out with us there. If you do become a Patreon or a YouTube member, let me know and I'll get you the server information as soon as possible and get you on there and we'll schedule some time to get on and play with you. So, uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.